The next organ, one that's special to me, is the heart. And here we think that red palm oil might play a role in keeping these heart arteries open. And again, the heart's a majestic organ that's perfused by these little blood vessels. The question then becomes, how do we get more blood through those vessels? So I've got a little demonstration here. And Bryce, I'd love you to help explain to us why, why this oil, which has saturated fats in it, right. Right, still can be beneficial and help protect the heart. Okay, so here are two arteries for everyone to get oriented. Two arteries, they're you know, matching arteries. And just see the little whitest stuff in here? That's the plaque. So give us an example of what happens if you have, for example, butter, a truly well, a typical saturated fat. oil, rad, bad saturated fat, acts like molasses through your arteries. So it sticks and clogs to the artery lining. And once there's a particular inflammation there, these bad fats will lock up within the artery lining, causing plaque, blockage, and ultimately death. Yeah, which is why we talk about the problems with saturated fat. Now, when you take the red palm oil, you know, when it's cold, like it is in here, it gets solid. But when you warm it up in the body, it turns to liquid like this. This is why it's great to cook with as well. And those plaques we talked about in here, when you pour in red palm oil into your body in place of the other fats, it washes away that plaque and it doesn't clump in there. So you literally end up with a very different appearance. Yeah. The other thing I want to highlight, again, this is stuff that I almost embarrassingly am talking about because I should have been talking about it earlier, is there was a nice study done looking at cholesterol levels. And they looked at folks because red palm oil is, that's you know, the main oil main fat used in many parts of the world. Folks who are using this actually lowered their bad cholesterol by nearly 40% in one month. I mean, That's right, drugs don't shocking. even do that. Right? Okay, drugs <laughs> don't even do that. Absolutely. Okay, the next organ, Bryce, explain to us why the omentum well, is important. Because again, we believe this will help blast away fat. Well, you made this popular. This is where we don't want fats accumulating. And you know, the bad fats of the world, the margarines and the other vegetable oils that we overconsume, they metabolize real slow. Ultimately, they get stored to this omentum and they contribute to our waistline. We don't want that. But yeah, you know, we don't want to grow this stuff. At the end of the day, though, red palm fruit oil, in particular virgin organic is what we're wanting to look for, actually goes straight to the liver. And when it gets to the liver, it gets used up as calories for the day. That's what we're doing is we're burning these calories for the day. And in fact, it actually might help to reduce your fat tissue concentration because you're not storing it, you're burning it. Mm -hmm. So it ignites your metabolism. Well, let's go through this. I want, I want you to really understand what's going on. When you put normal fat into your body, it's like lighting a candle. It'll slowly, gently be metabolized, which means it'll quickly go to your hips and your thighs and your belly and make you fat All right. because you're not burning it off very quickly. What Bryce is bringing up is the ability of smaller fats, like we talk about with red palm oil, to ignite your metabolism like that. Woo. That's what, That's, what That's what you want. This is what you want. That's what you want. Versus this. If you want to burn this away, you want this happening to you. This candle doesn't match to it, and the candle will never be able to go there. And this will burn, and it'll burn, and it'll burn as you ingest this into your diet. And it, there was, again, another study done looking at women who were eating two tablespoons of an oil that was like palm oil. And it helped them turn up their metabolism and whittled away this belly fat that so many of you are frustrated by. Absolutely. All right. Now, the good part. We just spent a few minutes of your time, I think well spent time, explaining why different parts of the body benefit from wet red palm oil. But the key is, how is it used around the world and how are we gonna use it in America? Because I think this will be the most popular new product we talk about this year in this country. It's gonna change the way we cook. So what are the, walk me through your favorite ways of using the oil. This is the thing, it's super, easy all right so remember at room temperature it's semi-solid and that's great to spread on your bread for example even to put on a little bit of uh, you know yams or potatoes mm. this is one of my favorite a dusk oatmeal all right it's red so throw some goji berries in there and amplify that antioxidant protection but in itself if all you have is the red palm fruit oil at home and some oatmeal you know what this is going to help protect you uh for the day and what do you call so, it dusk yeah, well, it's, you know, from dusk to dawn, you know? Oh. So this is the my oh, red, okay. red color uh, oatmeal. Mm. Oh, that's good. And you don't get that bitterness to it, right? No, not at all. You have oatmeal at dusk? Well, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a healthier uh, carbohydrate. It's a slow-releasing carbohydrate as opposed to any other snack. So I'm exercising at night often. I'm going to eat some red oatmeal. The red sky in the morning, shepherd's warning. Red sky <laughs> at night, shepherd's delight. And that's a delightful <laughs> food. Right? Okay. Oh, I love that. <laughs> All right. 
And finally, you know, we've talked a little bit about different ways of replacing butter and margins, but one of the biggest advantages is you can cook with this oil because it's not going to get destroyed by the high heat. Absolutely. You know, salad dressing, it's easy to apply to, uh, to salads as well, but it's a high smoke point. And the special high smoke point means that it's very stable. Most fats are actually unstable. They oxidize. They denature. This fat, because of that antioxidant power, again, the tocotrienol, special form of vitamin E, and the carotenoids, the carotene, is going to keep it stable. Shelf stable, lasts a long time in your, in your uh, home, and it's going to stay stable in your cooking, in your food, in your wok, or whatever you decide to use. Thank you for introducing us to us. All right. The miracles don't stop here. The number one thing keeping you from being productive in 2013 is your lack of sleep. I've got a brand new miracle to get you to bed tonight.